In ancient time, people tried really different type of technique to maintain their cleanliness and for some empire, honestly, they didn't even try to maintain any type of cleanliness. But one empire definitely was at the top of the game when it came to hygiene and that's the Aztec Empire. When the European, more precisely, the Spanish arrived in South America at the time, they were amazed by the Aztec level of cleanliness but also all of the structures that were put in place to maintain the city clean as well as the people clean. If you've watched my video on the plague and if you haven't, I will link it below. You understand that at the time, European cities were dirty, like literally filthy. People were throwing out poo and pee from the windows, from their windows on the street. Streets were not clean. Um, there were rats everywhere. No type of system to maintain the city and the people clean. Meanwhile, the Aztec built actual canal system to transport clean water and potable water around the communities. They even line them in the waste and dirt can be filtered and removed from it. They also separated canals for fresh water, canals for salt water, and they even had an extra canal for citizens to throw away their dirt after sweeping. The system also made it easier to include bath in the homes. Since they could have easy access to water, people could take regular bath. Most of the time, those were cold but steam baths were also enjoyed by the Aztec. It wasn't only used for outside cleanliness, but it was believed that steam bath would help for purifying the body, especially after physical combat, and also to try to aid in healing different types of illness. Those steam baths were called Temascal. Aztec even created soap, not soap in the sense of the soap that we know today, but they had so many different plants and herbs and they were really aware of the benefit of each of them. So, one of those plants called Copazocot, which was named the soap tree by the Spanish when they got there, produced a ladder. So that ladder was used to remove dirt from the body, but also from clothes. Water played a big role in the Aztec Empire. So the hygiene method was due to them obviously trying to stay clean on the outside but also on the inside. They practices a lot of different types of sacrifices. For example, women would stop washing their face while men were at war. Also, sacrificial prisoners were given a bath before they were executed because of the belief of cleanliness and purification even in those moments. Being clean was so important that it was taught to young girls to maintain a certain level of cleanliness and even to prevent putting makeup since makeup was already used at the time in order to look clean and pure to find a husband. Among all of the herbs and plants used, some were also used as a form of deodorant to prevent bad odor. They also had perfume for women and they regularly burn incense to maintain the environment pure and prevent any type of bad odor. Priests especially burn incenses in the temple. Aztecs were so advanced that they even had different types of herbs and paste to maintain their teeth clean. Although like many ancient empires, they used urine at some point because the urine in urine has whitening properties. Many empires used it to try to maintain their teeth clean. Aztec also had different types of roots that they would mix with ashes to brush their teeth. Women also had the habit of chewing chicle, which is basically the ancestor of gum, and it was a mixture of the sopadilla tree and bitumen. Like I said before, the cities had a network of canals used for water, but since cleanliness was not only for the body but also for the city, women would sweep their houses and the surrounding of the houses every day. Priests would also sweep the temples every day. All of this dirt was thrown into a specific canal to maintain the city clean. There were even public toilets available and public workers would collect all of the human waste out of the city on a daily basis and those were transported to fields and gardens to use as fertilizer. Not only were Aztecs advanced when it comes to hygiene, they were also pretty advanced when it comes to medicine. They actually had dentists 
who used a concoction of vinegar and snake venom in order to remove their patient teeth. That concoction helped the removal of teeth being almost painless and then a mixture of herbs was used to protect the wound. They were also filling cavities and doctors were skilled in healing different types of wounds, headache, cuts, cough and spawn infection with oil and plants and they already had great techniques to suture cuts and scrapes with hair and they healed broken bones using splints made of wood, cords and they would also create a type of plaster to maintain the limb in place. When Spanish arrived in Latin America, they were shocked by the level of knowledge and skill that they observed with the Aztec, as at the time, taking a bath in Spain was inexistent. It was a belief in most European countries that it was unhealthy to take a bath. There's actually more to this story, which I can go deeper into if you want to. Leave comment below. The evolution of bath in Europe, and especially in Spain, is directly linked to their relationship with different civilizations, and especially the Moors. Let me know if you want to know more about that. It's very interesting. That's it for today. If you have any more questions and you want to know anything more about this subject, let me know below and let's have a discussion about hygiene. See you next time. Bye.